Father God, we thank you for your holy word. We pray you'll bless it to our hearts. Give us an open mind and heart to hear and receive that we might grow in our faith and in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's a passage of scripture I'm going to read. It comes from Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. Now, there are three principles in this passage. There's an unjust judge, there's a, a, a villain, and there's a widow. So we're going to look at these three people, but we're going to learn a lot about prayer because Jesus himself gave us this passage of scripture. Let me read it to you. Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable. Now, a parable is just a short story to illustrate a point. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, A certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared for men. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time the judge refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Now let's break it down, look at it point by point. There's two things that you and I need to do in order to receive the blessing of answered prayer. And that is, we need to be persistent and we need to be patient. Those two words, persistence and patience, those two experiences that, oh, how, how difficult it is sometimes to be persistent. We want to give up after a while. We get tired. We think God isn't listening to us, but he is, and he's going to answer that prayer. Persistence and patience. Now notice, a widow who kept coming. Look at her persistence. Here's Jesus trying to tell us, come on, be like the widow. Keep coming to the throne of grace. Keep coming. Jesus said in verse 1, always pray and not give up. Patience. Most of us are pretty short on patience. How about a little baby? A little baby wakes up in the middle of the night in the crib, begins crying, calling out, needs its daddy changed, needs food. The baby doesn't stop and think, now mommy and daddy are tired. They had a hard day. I'm going to let them sleep until morning. I can wait that long. No, the baby doesn't do that. The baby wants help right now. Change my daddy. Get me something to eat now. There was a little boy four years old. His mother and the little boy were on a trip together and the little boy kept saying to his mother, how much longer until we get there? How much longer until we get to where we're going? Finally, the mother got so tired. She was a little bit angry, a little bit put out. She said, I want you to stop asking me how much longer. When we get there, we will be there and we're not going to be there until we get there. And so the little boy for a little while was very silent. And when his mother said, it's 90 more miles, it's then the little boy spoke up and said, mommy, will I still be four years old when we get there? We're so impatient. We're born with impatience, but God is trying to teach us patience, even in prayer, teach us patience. Patience and persistence, that's our part. Now, let's look at God's part. And I pray, as I prayed in the opening, that God would give us ears to hear, a heart to receive. He's going to answer prayer, 
and there's going to be blessing and miracle and answered prayer in your life and mine. So, number one, when the conditions are not right, God says no. Now, in your outline, you write down the word no. God says no. God always answers prayer with three words. I love you. Now, you parents who are with us, have you ever said no to your child? Why would you say no? Because no is the best thing at the moment for the child. And you have your child's interest in mind. God cares so much about you. And he wants to give you the very best. And so sometimes he's going to say no. But even then, that's an answer to prayer. Years ago, the Largo Community Church was very young. We needed land on which to build a, a church building. And I looked for months and months all up and down Enterprise Road and uh, up and down Route 214 Central Avenue, all down through Upper Marlboro. I have worked with I don't know how many real estate agents. I just couldn't find the right piece of property. Every time I thought I had it, somebody else bought it, offered more money for, for whatever reason. Sometimes it didn't even perk because they didn't. The land didn't have surge, but for some reason, and I know now what the reason was, God had 1701 Enterprise Road property in mind. And look at all of this acre. What is it? 55, 54, 55 acres. God always has something better in mind. He has exactly what you want and what he wants, what will be best for you and make you happy. So he may say no, and he often does when the conditions are not right. Another time, God will say, slow. And he says, slow, when the timing isn't right. So, number two, write down the word slow, S-L-O-W. Now, God does not offer an instamatic prayer answering service. It's not like ordering a pizza. We want the pizza on time. We want it at the door. We want everything on it. No, God doesn't work that way, but we have been conditioned to feel that way about things that we want and things that we order. We want it now. So when the time isn't right, God's going to say slow. But listen, friend, his delays are not his denials. Sometimes it's not that you and I are doubting it's simply, we're impatient. Give God time to work out whatever it is that he's working on. He knows the whole situation, and he's going to bless in a beautiful and a wonderful way. I heard a story about a man who was at a traffic light in the, the car. He pulled up to the red light. He stopped, waiting for the light to turn green. There's about a dozen cars behind him. And when the light turned green, he stepped on the accelerator. The car choked and stalled. And try as he may, he could not get that engine started again. Well, there was an orchestra of horns blowing in the background. It didn't make matters any better. He tried and tried. Finally, he got out of the car. He went to the car behind him and he said, sir, I'm so sorry. He said, I just cannot get this car going. He said, would you mind going up and trying and I'll stay here in your car and I'll blow the horn. So we're always in a hurry, but God is never in a hurry. God is always on time. He's seldom early, but he is never late. Thirdly, when you are not right, and God says, grow. Even then, he's saying, I love you. Friend, listen to me. God is more interested in you than he is in answering prayer. And sometimes we need to grow a little bit before we receive the answer that we're praying for. God is getting you ready for something great and beautiful. And he's going to need to work on you and me just a little bit longer to get us ready. And the answer will then come. But God's going to say grow. So 
How does God answer prayer? Sometimes he says snow. Sometimes he says slow. Sometimes God will say grow. But when everything's right, God says go. Then the miracle happens. Barriers tumble. Mountains are conquered. Problems disappear. Doors open. So friends, begin to pray. Pray big prayers, honest prayers, great prayers, affirmative prayers, and God will come through and God will do something beautiful and great for you. He is a God who loves you and he is a God who's going to take care of you. He is your father who answers your prayers and he's going to answer them on time. A pastor many years ago, A.C. Dixon, he died in 1925. He said these words, when we depend upon man, we get what man can do. But when we depend upon prayer, we get what God can do. So God bless you. Pray and receive the answer in God's time.